country artist Mickey Gilly has been wowing fans with his Louisiana rhythm and blues since 1957. At age 82, Gilly continues to walk out on stage to sing his hits for fans across the country. At a recent tour stop in Nashville, Gilly made time to chat with our very own Casey Haggerty. Well, 39 hits in the top 10 and 17 number ones. The one and only Mickey Gilly is with us and he's as busy as ever at 82 years young. <laughs> well, I'm still working, let's put it like that. Staying stay pretty busy. We, uh, we're in town uh, to do a few things here in Nashville. And uh, then, of course, I've been in Branson for 20-plus years. I uh, had my theater. And then me and Johnny Lee, we're out on the road, you know, doing the urban cowboy music for the folks. So, staying pretty busy. Now the girls are getting prettier in the closing town When the change starts taking place But the blue ball never repeats and it falls enjoying that urban cowboy reunion tour has been going on all fall all winter and it's continuing into 2019 you've already booked over 40 dates uh, how's it been going what's what's been your favorite part about it I think the big thing about it is is that the fact is that Johnny Lee gets to do some of his hits I get to do some of my hits and then we get to close with uh, the music from the soundtrack to the film the urban cowboy and talk about the music One dance. I sure. okay. but it's been fun for you to look back and think back about those times making that movie and all the fun surrounding that. Do you have any stories from that time? There's a lot of stories and some of them we don't want to talk about, but uh, there's a lot of stories about the film The Urban Cowboy. Uh, when uh, Aaron Latham first came down and wrote the article, uh, The uh, Ballad of the Urban Cowboy, I thought he was poking fun at country music and uh, I'm on my way out to California to do the Merv Griffin, the Mike Douglas show, one of those shows out there. And my business partner said, don't say anything negative about the article in Esquire magazine because we may get a film shot at Gillies. And I said, what side of the bed you roll off on? And he says, no, I'm serious. He said, John Travolta's looking at it. And when he said, John Travolta, I'm thinking, Saturday Night Fever, Country Night Fever. Yes. yes. So I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> so that's one of the stories behind the film, The Urban Cowboy. We're so glad that you're still touring around and playing your music, keeping as busy as ever. It's been a great ride. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching this week's Nashville Insider feature. If you liked what you saw, be an insider and hit the subscribe button. And also check out our friends Wilson Fairchild on their YouTube channel. And if you want to see full episodes of Nashville Insider, go to countryroadtv.com and use the code INSIDER when you sign up to get a free month. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.